Hello, today we're going to be making a bookmark. I hope you enjoy making yours at home. Here's one I made earlier. So, you're going to need a square piece of paper and possibly some scissors, unless you want to tear the paper instead, and lovely materials to decorate it with afterwards. If you don't have a square piece of paper, like me, then I'm using an A4 piece of paper. You can fold the bottom corner over to the top edge of the paper. Make sure both edges line up nice and neatly. And then fold a nice crease all the way along that nice diagonal fold. So we're left with a little bit of leftover paper. So we need to make sure that we make a nice fold all the way along the edge. So the paper matches up. And then once that's spare, we can cut that off. And we don't need that, that can be used for something else. And you will do a much better job at neatly cutting the paper, I am sure. There we go. So now we have a nice folded piece of paper. So we've got two points at the side, nice big point at the top forming a triangle. So take one of the points at the side and it needs to go to meet the top corner. And then we can make a nice fold. So we've got this nice line all the way down the middle. And we need to do the same with the other corner. So that needs to be folded up to meet the top corner. And fold all the way down, and make a nice crease. If you want to here, you can glue these bits down. It's up to you. So fold over the paper. And we've got now this nice little flap at the top. And to make the bookmark, we need to fold this over to meet the point at the bottom. Here we go. So we're folding this top bit of paper in half. And we now need to put this, fold this inside this little opening nice and neatly, and not more neatly than I'm doing. And fold it down again along that crease. And there we go. We have a little bookmark and you can decorate it however you want, with a rainbow, maybe, or something else, whatever you've got around the house. Now you've finished making your bookmark, why not follow us on Facebook or Twitter at Cov Libraries and find out more crafts, stories, rhymes and lots of information from Coventry Libraries and Information Service.